Cisco FTD Security Intelligence is used to block IP addresses, URLs, and domain with bad reputation. It uses mainly a database created by Cisco Talos Security Group, which periodically updates the list of malicious senders and contents. In this section, we will talk about security intelligence to block just IP addresses and URLs with bad reputation. Blocking malicious domains will be discussed in the next video, since the process is somehow different. The main task of security intelligence is to protect you from malicious content on the internet without doing a deep traffic inspection and just based on their reputation collected by Cisco Security Talos Group. You can also create your own custom blacklist to filter based on your own list or the list provided by third party companies. This is also possible to whitelist an IP address or URL or a domain that was by mistake blocked from one of the provided lists. Security intelligence is an first level of access control policy before FTD performs more resource intensive deep inspection. It improves performance by quickly excluding traffic that has bad reputation and does not require inspection. To compare with pre-filter policy, pre-filter policy has higher priority and it is not part of access control policy. It is used to fast forward a type of traffic and ignoring any access control modules and rules. But with security intelligence, traffic that does not have a bad reputation and is not part of a blacklist is processed by other access control modules and rules before allowing the traffic. In FMC, there is a menu with the name of intelligence or a reputation list with the name of TID or Threat Intelligence Director. However, it does mostly the same as security intelligence, but it is a different feature and we will talk about it in the next few videos. Security intelligence is enabled by default and you can find it in security intelligence tab in access control policy here security intelligence tab as you can see there are two type of resources that security intelligence can block networks which contain ip addresses and urls which of course contain URLs. Any IP addresses in global blacklist and any URL in global blacklist for URL are blocked. By default, there is no IP or URL in this list. I will show you in a few minutes how these lists will be updated. Also, any IP addresses in global don't block list and any URLs in global don't block list for URL will be exempted from blocking, even if they are in dynamic, Talos, or any other blacklist. It is because some resources are blocked in dynamic list by mistake. We use these lists to exempt the IP addresses or resources that are by mistake blocked. But where is the main dynamic Cisco Talos security group blacklist and how it can be updated? Cisco Talos security group blacklist or any custom list can be updated and configured preferably through object management in objects menu. Here you can find security intelligence 
section. DNS list and feeds, network list and feeds, and URL list and feeds are three subsections in security intelligence section. For example, in network list and feeds, Cisco intelligence feed is the block list created and updated by Cisco Security Talos Group. And it can be updated with update feeds button. You cannot see the content of the feed, but you can just update it. Cisco TID feed is thread intelligence director feed with similar usage but more flexibility which will we talk about in the next few videos it also can be updated with update feeds button global blacklist and global don't blacklist are the lists that are empty by default empty and you can update them through connection events for example in analysis connection events in any ip addresses for example this ip address you have to just right click over any ip addresses in connection event and then choose add ip to block list or add ip to do not blacklist that you think must be added in blacklist or must be added in whitelist and override dynamic fits for example add to blacklist then again object object, object management security intelligence network list and global blacklist as you can see the ip address is automatically added to the global blacklist and it can be also added to global don't blacklist it is possible to delete a record directly from global blacklist and global don't blacklist objects for example delete and then save you can also add your custom list. Just click add network list and feeds. IP blacklist. There are two options to add a custom list, feed and list. With feed option, you specify a URL address at which FTD can retrieve the list and also dynamically updated but with list option you can give the list and update it manually in our example ip blacklist there are two ip address 8888 and 1111 browse ip txt 8888 and then upload In our example, I've given the list manually with browsing ip.txt file with include two IP addresses, 8888 and 1111 and then save. The same rules apply to URL list and feeds with update feeds. The list created by Talos group will be updated automatically. You can add a new URL to global blacklist for URL and global don't blacklist for URL through connection events again. Policy uh, analysis, connection events. The same that we have done for IP addresses, for example, this is a URL add to global black block list for URL 
and then you can check it in object object management take use intelligence url list global list for url as you can see the url is added in blacklist you can delete it here direct you can also add your custom url just click add your list and feeds like custom network list there are two options to add a custom list feed and list black or block urls and then list in our url list there are two url address raika-code.com and raika code IR and then browse URL and then upload here I've added manually a list which include two URL addresses raikodashko.ir and raikodashko.com and then save before applying my custom network and URL list to security intelligence block URL and IP block list before adding these two lists to security intelligence I will check to make sure that the connection to these addresses are already open but to make sure that we are not affected by pre filter policy and also access list policy I've restored pre-filter policy to default pre-filter policy which has no rules also I have added a rule permit all rule in the top of accesses policy to permit every traffic now we can test the connectivity first by URLs and also IP addresses ping 111 it is already open and 8888 now we can enable our custom list in security intelligence security intelligence tab and then we check the connectivity and also the logs to make sure that our security intelligence policy is working properly. In IP block list, add to block list here, it is added. And in the URL tab, block list, add to block list, it is added here. And then save. And then deploy the new policy. Our new security intelligence policy is deployed. Now we can check again the connectivity. Raikodashko.com. IP addresses are blocked and also one 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 and we expect that the URL are also blocked by security intelligence policy let's check the log analysis connection and security intelligence events 
IP blacklist is match the URL and URL block with the URL list. In table view of security intelligence event, to check which rules is matched security intelligence category IP blacklist and URL list and And this is also block. I will check it again with another browser. Make sure it's not opened by cache. Right card dash code.com. And also right card dash code.ir. As you can see. Both address are blocked. Here it is loaded from cache. With Internet Explorer. Raikadashko.com as you can see it is blog and raikadashko.ir it is also blog check again the logs security intelligence as you can see URL or blog raikodashko.com and raikodashko.ir with URL block and I also IP block and here security intelligence category block URLs 